that there is no such thing as word by word translation we have to learn arabic and every time we learn arabic we always learning <clears throat> something new about us and the example which i take and i take the topic of it <clears throat> because it's uh, with the other current my current uh, arabic students okay i see people are abusing that raising hand Tech. right i'm not gonna receive sound notification anymore for that okay so i chose the topic because this topic is the one i'm currently i have just finished studying with uh, teaching and my students learning of my current arabic course which is about plurals yes how to pluralize and through these examples you can see how things are simply not the same in english and arabic so what am i talking about look at this we have something what we call standard way of pluralizing another word for this is sound plural so what is this in english and i'm explaining for you as if you have no knowledge about arabic grammar at all in english you say car how you make it plural you say cars boy boys girl girls so what is standard way of pluralizing is taking a word and adding s at the end it is a standard word is a one standard rule without any without any complications right and then we have something what we call broken way of pluralizing broken plural so what is what's broken here you can say like that rule that we have said that you add s and you get plural we breaking this rule how we break child the rule would say child means a child one and you add s child but you don't say child that would be incorrect you say children food the rule says add s at the end then you will have plural but we don't say foods instead of this we say feed so we have standard way of pluralizing one rule in english it can be s in other language it can be something else but either way it is one simple rule you take one you add something you change something and now you have many one car many cars and so on and the broken way is a broken plural is when there is no one rule but you have to remember what is the broken form so this is standard way and broken way standard sound plural or standard plural and broken plural using english as example so in arabic you also have this concept so yeah i'm using english to to break down how things work in arabic so we have standard plural ending this is una ending so how does it work for example a disbeliever in arabic kafir that's one you add una you become you got kafiruna now this is disbelievers so disbeliever disbelievers plus s in english kafir kafiruna plus una in arabic muallim a teacher one you add una you get muallim the same like teacher plus s you get teachers and for example you have katib that means a writer someone who writes yeah one you add una you get katibuna so same idea just that instead of adding s we add una clear on that what standard way of pluralizing in arabic clear not clear somewhat clear mm -hmm. clear right now sometimes you have una and sometimes instead of una you have ina so in a sense what does it mean in quran you'll find kafirun like surah kafirun right but sometimes you also find it kafirina sometimes you have muallimuna sometimes you have muallimin and sometimes you can say katibuna sometimes you say katibina now what you need to understand it's the same thing it's both forms are broken it's more like not clear <laughs> well may Allah grant us understanding um kafiruna kafirina muallimuna muallimina katibuna katibina right so this is all standard plural the the, the difference be, because in the endings whether it is una 
or in uh, this is because of the different grammar cases it's not our topic now you just need to understand that both forms are standard uh, understanding so and then we also have something what we call broken plural 